Hello guys, Zan here. Uh, so last episode we went through um, some basic commands on Computercraft and we also made a very basic program. So today I'm going to go a bit further in depth about what the program means and what elements you usually find in basic programs. So in this one we had a Hello World program which is a program that simply writes Hello World. It's one of the first programs that you usually learn when you're being introduced to a new programming language. So um, in this case, with this Hello World program, we used print. Now in different programs it could be um, write or display or something like that, but in this one it's very basic and we just had to put print. We also have to define um, these brackets here so it knows that in here we have our data that we want to print. Now, I also said stuff as, uh, such as variables and strings. Variables and strings are things that you can usually find in every program. Strings is just a collection of letters that are put together to make words like this, hello world. And then we have variables. In variables we can so, uh, store all sorts of things. We could store numbers, we could store strings. In this case, I'm going to put xylem. And what we're going to do here is we're going to edit our hello world program so it will say xylem. But I'm going to make it so I don't just put xylem instead of world like this. I'm going to make it so it actually uses variable 1 to print it. Okay? So, what we have to do is get rid of Xylem. We don't want that. We're going to put hello, okay, and we're going to put space because there's no space on variable 1. And now, if we want to string a variable and a, um, a, a word together, all we have to do is put a double dot and then we put in the name of our variable. In this case we need a variable 1, so we put variable 1 in here. Now we hit save by pressing control and then enter. Then we exit. Now, using the commands that we learnt last time, we can list the programs and we can run test. Now, rather than saying hello world, it should say hello xylem. As you can see here, clearly says xylem. Now, we can add other stuff to this. We could make it so we could make it so it is able to print whatever we want to write. And to this I'm going to introduce a new command that we can use called read. Now read is uh, a function that reads what the user inputs to the program. Okay? So we can do that, we can hit save, and then we can hit run. Okay, and now if I run test, we can see nothing's happened. There's just a flashing underscore. So, we can type whatever we want here. In this case, I'm going to put YouTube. And now, if I hit enter, it says hello YouTube. Okay, so, that was a very basic program, and we can further this by listing and I'm going to teach you another command that you can use when you're editing or using programs. I'm going to teach you move. Move lets you move programs to files. So we have a file YouTube. I'm going to move test to YouTube. If I hit enter now the command's been taken. No errors. And as you can see, when we list again, tests is gone. If we were to do cd to open a directory or file and type YouTube, we could clearly see in here tests. Now, doing cd again and dot dot to go back to the main terminal, we will make a new program and we're going to call this one startup. <clears throat> okay, 
Now we're going to learn a couple more things here. A couple more new things. We're going to learn term. Term is just terminal. And here, what we want to do is we want to write clear. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do before we do that is I'm just going to show you what happens when we reboot the computer, okay? I've just done a double um, hyphen there to make it a comment so it won't actually run that program. So, doing reboot. Here it says craft OS 1.7. Now, I don't want it to say that. I want it to say something of my own. So, I'm going to do edit startup again. We're going to do term.clear. Now it's going to get rid of that craft OS. So now we're dealing with a blank screen. Okay? Now, we can put uh, hello Xylon. Okay? But if you're like me, you're going to notice a slight problem uh, with the uh, aesthetics of this. Okay? So, doing reboot again, pressing Control R. We can see it says Hello Island, but there's a line here that it's not using. And we want to use that line just like it did with Craft OS. So, doing Edit Startup again. We are going to do Terminal. And then we're going to put Set Cursor Pass. Now, this changes where we print this string here to whatever we desire, okay? In this case, we want it to be on the top left corner. So if we're going to put one, comma, one. Now that's going to, that, that's just basically the coordinates of the terminal. Uh, so now, re uh, rebooting this again, we should see that it says, hello, Xylem. As soon as it stops playing up. So, if we exit the program now, we should see it says hello Xylem. So, reboot. And as you can see, it's used the top row here. So, we're going to do one more thing to this. I want, I want this to have the same yellow colour that it did last time. A new function now, term.setTextColor. Now, when we're typing term.setTextColor, we can't just type yellow. We have to type color, colors yellow, because that's the way the program is set. Now, it's going to change it to yellow, but we don't want it from uh, setting that as the default color for the uh, computer. So, we're going to set it back to normal by typing setTextColor. And then, we're going to do colors dot white and that's going to change it back to the white text that we used to now we can press save and we can exit if we reboot we should get that nice nice yellow text color see right there so you've just learned your basic first startup program Join me next time where we will talk about loops and go into more detail about more complex programs as well as making our first password program.